Hey, this is Al Bain from Al Bain for Leather, and I'm sitting in a magic spot. I'm talking to Jay Hale. He is a guitar builder extraordinaire. I was referred to him by um, Adam Reaver at FU Tone. So let's give a warm welcome to Mr. Jay Hale. How you doing? Hey, so uh, tell me about yourself. What, what, what do you do as your primary occupation here? So my primary occupation, I'm a guitar builder um, and guitar tech. Uh, I basically do installs and overhauls of FU Tone products for people in the LA area. Okay. Kind of Adam's go-to guy for that. And you build your own guitars? Yes. And you market them under your own brand name? Yes, jhailguitars.com. Okay, so by that, like, what, what do you do? Do you take bodies and put necks on and all that stuff, or how does it work? Basically what I do with the customer is, instead of going and buying some kind of cookie cutter, bargain basement, whatever, you spec it out from top to bottom, what kind of wood you want for the body, what kind of neck you want, what kind of fretboard you want, what size fret wire you want. Um, the control configuration, the pickup layout, what kind of bridge do you want? Do you want a top tail piece? Do you want a Floyd Rose? Do you want an FU2 bridge? But that kind of thing. Cool. What kind of hardware do you want? Do you want titanium hardware? Do you want um, stainless steel hardware? What do you want? You know, it's like sounds like the possibilities are fairly endless. Fairly right? endless and still beating most of the um, the big custom shops. Right on. So, uh, how'd you get started? What, what what was the genesis of this project? Funny story. When I was a kid, um, growing up in a small town in West Virginia, um, there were you know three guitar stores. I was a huge Van Halen freak, like most kids our age. You couldn't get a guitar, you couldn't get a strap with a humbucker back in the day. Okay. <laughs> so, um, I'm like, well, how am I going to get one of these? So I can either get like a, a Strat or a Les Paul, and I don't want either one of them, you know? But then I read an article about Eddie Van Halen and that he ordered Charvel parts. So he actually went to the factory because he lived here. But you could order Charvel parts back in the day when I was still in high school. So I'm like, I'm going to build my own guitar. So, Ordered a Charvel neck and Charvel body, sight unseen via mail order, and a Floyd Rose, and a Seymour Duncan humbucker, and some had to get these from Japan because black hardware in the 80s. What was that? <laughs> so I had to special order these from Japan as, as a 16 year old kid. But anyway, still going strong 30 years later, my first ever Charvel mutt build. But this is what got it all started. This is what everything else has been based on and what I learned. You know, that's like, how you, what, what yeah, I cut your my teeth, teeth on, yeah, so right, to speak. Right. It's, um, I used to work at Guitar Center back in the early days and I actually talked to Eddie Van Halen about it. You know, because I was like, you inspired me to build guitars. I know everybody thanks you for, you know, inspiring them to play, but you inspired me to build too. And he's like, isn't it cool? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's like, you get exactly what you want. I'm like, yes, you do. Then, you know, so I was talking about this and how I always still go back to it over. He's like, that, it's because it's your Frankenstein. And I'm like, so, this is my Frankenstein, and this is why J. Hill Guitars exists today. Yeah, you know, because I started doing this as a kid, and never stopped. I, I don't own any store-bought guitars, as far as electrics. I, I'd rather build them. Right. You know? So, but that's how that started. That's where we are, to, that's how we are where we are today. Very cool. Yeah. Beautiful. You do cool graphics on them? I can. I have a couple of different painters that I use. Um, it might take a little longer, basic because of the pandemic right now. I mean, there everybody's lead time's a little longer, but and you don't want to rush an artist, you know. Number one, um, but yeah, sky's the limit, basically. Right on. So um, you had mentioned the pandemic, and myself, along with the team at C4OCRadio.com, have been working on a little video series and talking about the um, effects of the coronavirus, the quarantine, the pandemic, and all that stuff, and how they're impacting the behind-the-scenes folks that work in and around the motion picture and music industry. So um, you clearly qualify as a motion industry, music industry, behind-the-scenes cat because you're building and... Do you, do you do any guitar teching? Yes. Okay, so how has the pandemic and the quarantine affected you and your business model as it is today? Well, obviously nobody's, you know, gigging anywhere else. I kind of transitioned out of like touring guitar tech work or anything like that. Um, but I'm still doing repairs and setups and things locally. But again, nobody's gigging, so they're not really 
needing as fast a turnaround or, you know, it's like, oh, I have a gig tomorrow. No, you don't. <laughs> so still doing some work for people that are still working in the studio when they can, where things are still open and they can do it socially distant and whatnot. Do you find that you've had a negative impact and, and your business has slowed down? Yeah, as far as, you know, it's nobody, it's, it's harder to get somebody to wait now eight months for a guitar instead of six, which was my normal turnaround time because fabrication takes longer now. Right. So, so how are you um, it takes adapting to, get, to that? It takes longer to get parts. <laughs> so how are you adapting to that? You know, you make people um, aware of the lead times or whatever, and you, I'm trying to keep more things on hand to um, have less of that issue. But again, it's, it's a logistics problem, and every, right, right, everybody's right. having it right now. There's no way you can escape it. Yeah, that's kind of a bummer, but you know, as long as our audience understands that you're available, are you open to um, getting business from the general public? Business? Absolutely. Okay, so um, how would our audience find you? You would find me at uh, jhillguitars.com. You can message me there. Um, I'm jhillguitars on Instagram. You could direct message me there also on Twitter um, and Facebook. Okay, so, so basically all the social, all social media. media JL Guitars, you can find me. And yeah. you can talk your your setup, your overhaul, or your custom build. Right on. So let's talk about this particular guitar. What are we looking at here? You are looking at the uh, original Nunmore Black prototype. You know, kind of a spinal tap joke, obviously. Um, everybody's like, but yeah, the, one of the pickup coils is white. I'm like, well, how else would you see it? But um, <laughs> we tried to get the, what is it, the Benno Black or whatever. The, you know, the, the black that absorbs light. Okay. But that's not really commercially available yet. We're still waiting on that. So we got the got the flattest black we could find um, and went with that. This is basically um, a two-piece body, um, maple neck, ebony fingerboard, 6100 frets, so basically bass frets, you know, super jumbo. Um, it's got an original Floyd Rose that has been upgraded with all the FU tone parts. It's got the stainless steel hardware, the titanium string lock inserts. It's got heavy duty springs, it's got the trim stopper, the brass claw, the entire deal. Um, and it's going to sound a lot fatter than your off the shelf guitar, just because of all of that. Okay, so FU Tone and their upgrades seem to be a good idea, right? They're a, let's put it this way, I, I, once I did it, they're kind of addicting and you don't really want to play any other, especially if a you know, Floyd equipped guitar you don't want to play a standard one anymore because the, it's that drastic a difference. And people are like, oh, that's snake oil. It's like, no, no, it's not. <laughs> you, know, so, you can A-B it with another guitar that doesn't have it, um, those parts, and it's it's a drastic difference. So you definitely recommend somebody try it at least. And see at for, least, see yeah. See for themselves. See for yourself. And, you know, the great thing about my guitars is they all come with that standard. It's like you don't have to do a, a $400 upgrade after the fact. It's already there. Right on, right on. So I do definitely see a problem with this particular guitar. Hey, do you guys see it too? Do you see it with me? It's not left-handed. No, th oh, there's that. <laughs> what is this? We're gonna have to upgrade you. I, I know there's another uh, really cool guy who makes this cool leather. That stuff. is true. Yes, you know. Yeah, yes. So we'll, again, we'll, prototype. It's not you know. It's a, the no frills version. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll get you set up. Yeah. Get the production well, version going. Yeah, right? So it uh, looks like we're, are we actually six feet apart? Because we're supposed to be six feet apart, considering that we're in this quarantine pandemic thing. And we want to mention that our friends over at We, what, how, how, what is it there, Big, Big, Big Daddy? It is Red Alert. Red Alert. And it is www.wemakeevents.org. Right, so if you haven't heard about the we make events.org and what they're doing they're petitioning congress and trying to get live entertainment back up and running again whether it be social distance or whatever so that the entertainment industry can infuse a little money back into itself and keep these behind the scenes people and the frontline people the actors and the and the entertainers working and, and keeping their economic positions safe and sound. So uh, let's go over there and uh, give them a, a take a look at them and see if you want to involve yourself with them. Maybe donate a little bit of money or whatever the case may be. But uh, understand that the pandemic and the quarantine is causing a massive problem for a lot of people and that's one way that we can stick together. 
Okay. Thank you very much for your time here. Um, I hope that um, our audience can take advantage of your services and bring a little business your way and take a look at FU Tone and their Floyd Rose upgrades. And anything else you would like to add? Um, basically, everybody stay safe, socially distant, um, and yeah, check out the website. Let's, let's get the industry back up and running because it'll help everybody. Right on. For myself, Al Bain, Al Bain for Leather, our friends at C4OC Radio, um, considering it's the holiday season, please have a happy holiday, good new year, and remember, remember C4OC Radio.com.